More money you spend, less money you save. It's been raining for days, but today the sun is out, so I'm going to try and get some clothes washed and on the line. According to the weather app, it's going to rain this evening. If it rains, I can use this section to hang up more clothes. Okay, I think it's a go. Let's wash. Hold on, what's going on here? You know, the machine has been going for a few minutes and the clothes at the top are not getting washed. They're just jiggling, jiggling, jiggling. So apparently only the bottom section of the machine is working properly. That means the clothes at the bottom are getting washed, but not the ones at the top. I'm going to have to manually move the clothes from the top down to the bottom so they can get washed too. I just noticed that the water from the machine drains out into the box drain at the side of the house. Then that runs into the drain out by the street. This section of Guyana is actually below sea level, so the city is pretty prone to flooding. In fact, there was some serious flooding back in 2005. So I understand the need for the drainage system, and these box drains seem to be all over the city. While outside, I heard a racket going on in here. Listen, something is not right at all. I just hope that the water cycle will finish. I had to send out an SOS for a technician. Thankfully, one was able to come. He seems to know what he's doing. Wow, the load is finished. The machine is still alive. Thankfully, as we would say in Jamaica, the machine never conk out. Since I don't have a basket as yet, I have to improvise. Now I have to be really careful while I'm hanging out the clothes because guess what? There is a tall swaying coconut tree filled with some big guys. So we don't want any mishaps. Now this is a really old fashioned way of gathering the clothes pins to hang out the clothes on the line. I think it's a tradition that has been passed down from one generation to the other. Tell me in the comments below if you have ever seen your grandparents or your parents do this or maybe you yourself do it. I really, really, really need the sun to stay out. But I'm seeing some dark clouds over that side. So I finished hanging out the first set of stuff on the line. Here they are. It's quite humid. It's breezy, you know, but it's humid so you still sweat. You know, I wish I could get one of these jelly coconuts though. Some other time. Why am I putting the clothes on the line and not in the dryer? Dryer takes up more energy. More energy, higher electricity bill. Higher electricity bill, more money you spend. More money you spend, less money you save. Less money you save, less money to do other stuff like travel. It's all about using the natural resources that God has given to us. Beautiful sunshine. Of course, when it's a rainy day or it's rainy season and it's impossible for the clothes to get dried up, we have to resort to backup. The clothes have been on the line for about three hours and they're drying pretty well.